the altogether three inequalities in this system. The first one is x greater than or equal to negative 2. So let's draw the vertical straight line. Then we can determine if we should be shading the left hand side or the right hand side. Since x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2, I have a solid line and we'll be adding arrows that are pointing towards the right. Next, we have to draw the solid line x minus 2y equals 3. So using the solid line, we have to determine whether we should be shading the upper half plane or the lower half plane. Inequality sign is less than or equal to, but the coefficient of y is negative, so we will be shading the upper half plane. So I'm using some arrows to indicate the solution to this inequality. And we'll come to the next one, x plus 3y equals 3, and we have a dotted line. Let's determine the solutions. Inequality sign is less than, coefficient of y is positive, so we have the lower half plane. And I'm using the orange arrows to indicate the solutions. And finally, part A, we want to solve the system of inequalities graphically, so I have to shade the solutions. Part B, if x and y are integers, find the number of pairs of x and y which satisfy the system of inequalities in part A. So we have to consider integral values of x and y. So I'll be indicating these pairs of x and y using some dots in the figure. P0 is not a solution because of the dotted line. So that's why 3, 0 is not a solution. One negative 1 is a solution because it lies on the boundary and is a solid line. Same as this point, negative 2, 0. So they're altogether 13 pairs for part B.